Hello fellow Star Wars fans, it is Star Raptor here, coming at you with a spoiler-free review for Vader Immortal Episode 3. This is the VR series, it all concludes with this episode, and without giving anything away, the entire premise of this series hinges on a certain moment in this episode. Vader gets hold of this certain item, which is the MacGuffin of the story. You have been trying to go after this item, so you are this no-name character who has a lot of power because she is Force-sensitive. She is a descendant of these ancient Force users that arrived on Musafar. You have this proto, if you will, lightsaber that commands a legion of droids, so it is up to you to lead this legion of droids into the castle of Vader to stop what he is doing with this certain item. So yes, the scale is turned up to 11 on this certain episode. You really see how they go from episode one, a pretty small scale type adventure, and you get to this episode and there's an all out war going on inside Vader's castle, stormtroopers versus droids, there's ATSTs, there's TIE fighters, you're going against Vader himself in a duel, it doesn't get more epic than this. This is one heck of a way to go out swinging. Just uh, certain things I want to go over uh, is, is controlling this army. You feel so powerful. You're using this lightsaber, doing these certain gestures, which is activating the droids. Next thing you know, you are entering into his castle, and it is, like I said, it's an all-out war. You're seeing stormtroopers getting mowed down by droids. Droids going down. It's really awesome. There is a new mechanic, as they always Bring in a new mechanic for every episode. Episode 2 was the Force. This episode, it's more or less blasters, so we get to control E-11 blaster rifles, as well as one moment you get to control an E-Web turret, which is pretty freaking fun. It's a lot of fun, guys. Also, that whole moment with Vader, and seeing the scale of Vader compared to your height is pretty frightening, because he is a towering figure, and he is very, very intimidating, especially with Scott Lawrence voicing Darth Vader, and what I like the most with every single game, yeah, the story was very satisfying, way, by the way, very, very satisfying, but what I enjoy most about Vader Immortal is not the single player story, but the lightsaber dojo. And they have the lightsaber dojo number three in this game. And it really does learn from the previous lightsaber dojos in the other episodes. And it just puts everything in this one, including the opportunity to be able to have two lightsabers, one in each hand. It is so badass, guys. I felt like I was a Saz Ventress or something because I was just going at it against the train droids blocking, reposting, hitting with the other saber, but you also have guns, uh, you have blasters, and you could have a blaster in one hand, you could have your lightsaber, and I felt like I was cannon jars, it was crazy guys, like I'm just going around shooting, you can dual wield blasters, I feel like IG-11, it's just amazing, you can get thermal detonators and throw them behind cover, in this one there are stormtroopers for the first time, before it was just train droids, but in episode 3, we have stormtroopers, so what you can do, is you can literally force grip a, a trooper that's behind a barricade, pull them out from cover, Pull him to you and just stab him, impale him with your, your lightsaber. You can also throw your lightsaber and impale him that way. It is pretty brutal stuff, but it is so fun. It almost feels cheap because every subsequent episode, you are getting more power in these lightsaber dojos. And now you can use everything. And it's just so fun. All the enemy types are in there from the previous episodes, like the little uh, lava nymphs and all that kind of thing. It is just a really good time. Like, honestly, we are in a great uh, age of Star Wars right now. We have The Mandalorian, we have the just released Jedi Fallen Order, which is an incredible game. We have this other kind of gaming entity, which is not a console game, but it's on the other side of things with VR. We are in a great spot for gaming. There was a couple little things that I thought, you know, made this not be what it could have been. Ultimately a perfect game, and that would be one sequence in a single player. Certain things felt like they went on for too long. Certain sequences could have been cut down just a little bit because they do get a little bit redundant for the longer they go on. Also, as with the first kind of experimentation with Star Wars in a VR storytelling platform, there are glitches. So you just, you know, you get past the glitches and other than that, it's a really good experience. I cannot recommend Star Wars Vader Immortal Episode 3. I think this is the best out of all three. It's really cool seeing, again, them start out in Episode 1 
and implementing better changes in episode two and just going all out with episode three. I really enjoyed it and you guys should definitely give it a try. I do believe they have a special promotion going on right now. If you get an Oculus Quest between now and January, I do believe they are going to give you all three episodes for free. So if you guys are looking to get something for somebody for a Christmas gift, then this might be the time to buy an Oculus Quest and say, hey, look, there's one of the best games you can play, and it's included. So definitely if you're a Star Wars fan, find some way to play through Vader Immortal for a canon story. It really delves into the mind of Darth Vader more than you would expect to see what he is up to, what the environment of Mustafar is like. And there's so much potential here that I can't help but wonder if they're going to make another sort of story, whether it branches off of this somehow, or if they have a completely different story now that we know that the team at ILM X Labs can handle blasters. You know, let's see if we can play a game where we're a smuggler or something, because that would be really, really a lot of fun. So have you guys played Vader Immortal? Let's talk about it all in the comment section below. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. I've been talking about Star Wars a heck of a lot lately. As I mentioned, it is probably the busiest, no, it is the busiest month ever for Star Wars. We have constant TV shows coming out from two different fronts, animation, live action. We have a brand new video game. We have books and comics. We have this, it's a VR game. We have a movie coming out in four weeks. It's, it's an absolute crazy time, so ride that ride with me by subscribing to the channel and do hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. That is going to do it for me, Star Up. Thank you so much for watching and may the force be with you always. Thanks for checking out the video. Please hit that thumbs up symbol. It helps me know that I'm making content that you guys enjoy. And if you enjoyed this video, I also include two videos down below you guys should check out. And please consider subscribing to this channel. It helps support me and it notifies you guys of when I get new videos up on the channel. You can also contact me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Star Raptor.